If you are wondering how do I allow my users to drop a pin on the map and then save that location into the bubble database, well, then this is the video for you. So maybe you have played around with a Google map like this and you've clicked on stuff and you're like, I just want it so that when I click on things, I want to be able to save that address into bubble so that someone can choose a spot on the map, basically. Now, here is a setup that will get you to be able to do that. So really, you don't want to drop a pin on the map. I mean, you do. That's probably what you're thinking. But actually what it is, is you want someone to be able to identify an exact location on the map and then save that. So that's the setup that we're going to be looking at. So here over in the bubble backend, uh, I'm going to show you that setup now. What we have in this uh, editor is we have a typical bubble map element, just an out of the box map element, and I want to show off its layout. So it's 420 by 335. Now it's in a parent container and you can see that it is exactly aligned in the center of that. But again, 420, 335, if we look at this, it is also 420, 335. In this case, I am doing a fixed width because like, it's important that those actually exactly match up uh, for this to work. So then the secret magic trick that you've been looking for and searching all over the internet perhaps um, is that, so we have here a map icon that is uh, just the static image. Woohoo. Um, and that happens to be a height of 30. So a height of 30, let's notice that half of that, uh, basically I'm, sh I'm showing off what I'm showing, but I'm going to add this uh, little thing in there that when you select the design of your particular pin to do this method with, you'll want to look at its height. You want to divide it by two, then you want to push it up by that value or divide it by two. So in this case, 15, uh, margin bottom. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. But so what this has done is it has aligned the bottom of this pin, which is basically, you know, when you look at a pin, uh, you know, it's the bottom is what's pointing to something. So that is, you know, it's exactly in the center of said map box, roughly. Well, I mean, it is in the center. It's just that my ability to highlight it with a mouse is lacking. Um, but okay, so then that is that is what we're that's what we're doing for the setup. Now let's actually take a look at the data then. So every map element has a number of pieces of data tied to it. And one of those pieces of data, so this map element, it is called test map location picker. And so I'm just gonna show you a piece of text that I have here. This piece of text says, here's the pin location, and it is this test map location picker. It is that Google Maps element from uh, you know, the out of the box map element. It is that one. And then it is the centered address. Now, if you try and do current marker and other things, you actually, it's not a, it's not actually a piece of text that is usable. So we're going with center address. Now the exact center of this map you'll note is also the exact center of, or, you know, the point that this pin points to. So we can see here, uh, that we're kind of, you know, getting updated v uh, values here as I, as I move this around the map, just to kind of prove that out to you, that indeed this uh, does as advertised. So um, that's it. So then, you, you know, you can hit finish. We can add a workflow where it takes this uh, center map, a map location picker center address, and it saves it as a geographic value into the database. So if that was what you were looking to do, then you know, you've got it. Um, and also note here for those who want to take this a step further, potentially, is you can also pull the latitude. Uh, and then we could, you know, do a comma, we could rewrite that expression, we could say, oh, why don't we? So we'll do a longitude, and then we'll take a look at it on the uh, on the front end. And then we'll call this video good. So this will be the latitude and this will be the longitude. Cool. And so we can see here now with that in place that if we move this around, we actually get this, uh, you know, these values are updated. And, you know, shout out to the homeland of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan shown off here in this lovely map, a uh, place I went to high school. And uh, that's it. So 
very if you were looking to basically just grab a location um that your users can select rather than you know because if, if you try and grab something like this we can see here that it's actually different uh well no we can't because this is latitude longitude but i was going to say that the 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 center address here is actually different than this and there is no way to actually select something uh on the out of the box google map but here we don't need to select it because we can simply just allow someone to identify the location that they want and then have them, you know, click a button and say, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. It'd mean a lot and see you in another video.